Welcome to Coping Through the Holidays, Week 7, Boundaries. And I'm your host, Teresa Brockmeyer. What kind of boundaries do you want to set for 2023? Since this is pre-recorded, I'll give you a moment to ponder that um, question. Does it matter if we have boundaries? We all need boundaries. Boundaries keep us safe. Boundaries differentiate from me to you. Boundaries help us focus on what's important to us. And boundaries improve the relationships by creating a clear expectations and responsibilities. But it can be hard to figure out what type of boundaries you want to set. Boundaries. One way to identify your boundaries is to think about the areas in your life where you're experiencing problems. Do you constantly feel exhausted? Do you feel uncomfortable around certain people? Do you feel resentful of your family's intrusions or phone calls? Each of these problems is telling you that lacking boundaries is important. This is seven types of boundaries in relationships. I'll let you take a moment to read these. And there are seven common boundaries to set. I'll let you take a moment to read these. And um, it's about physical boundaries is number one. And there's examples. Um, if somebody sits in your bubble and then you need personal space, that's a good example. Or we don't consume alcohol in our house. That could be another example too. And that could be a boundary so people don't bring alcohol to your parties for New Year's Eve or football parties. I'll let you take a moment to read this slide. Number two, sexual boundaries. That's really important. And then, um, like you can say, I don't want to be touched like this, or I do not want hugs or, you know, have a, I have a personal bubble. And it's your preference. It's your right to say these things. Because if you're on a date, then you can let the person know. And this is why we have this um, for 18 years and older, due to the content. Emotional or mental boundaries protect us. And then your rights to have your own feelings and thoughts. Some examples are, I don't feel comfortable discussing this. Or, I feel embarrassed and powerless when you chastise me in front of the kids. I'd like you to stop. And there can be many more examples. And we have a right to our feelings. Number four, to have your own thoughts and opinions. That's pretty much kind of like um, number three, but it's I'm going to take a moment to say a silent prayer before you eat. We have the right to our religious freedom and our opinions and speech and then um, decorate the way we want to and then um, believe what we want to. Financial and material boundaries protect us um, from the right to spend money as you choose. But some major things you should consult your spouse about. But um, if you're single, you have the right to spend your money as you choose anyway. And then you have the right to give or loan money um, to friends and family. But if you don't want to, you also have that um, right. And then sometimes if you're at work and then somebody's going to order a pizza, you can say, I brought my lunch from home or I'm on a diet and I won't be ordering today just to save money. Um, you can think of that as to save money, but, um, you know, let the people know. And then please don't borrow my laptop without asking or any possession or for children, it could be 
the toys. I know we want to promote sharing, but there's some cherished things that people might actually enjoy that um, if it gets broken, if we know a person is known for broken, breaking things, then we have the right to say no. Time boundaries protect us how we spend our time. If we're always working, we never have time to ourselves. If we're always answering emails from work, but when does it end? And we gotta allow ourselves the balance between um, work, life, and our families. And take the time in the evenings and then say and set a boundary. I'll respond to your email in the morning. Um, so another boundary could be, kids, I don't have time to take your shopping this week if they want to go get something with their allowance or things. It's all right to say no, and then letting them know why is a good thing because it's communication. Then there's a non-negotiable number seven, boundaries that are deal breakers that you absolutely must have in order to feel safe. Their um, safety issues is physical violence, emotional abuse, drug or alcohol use, fidelity, and life-threatening health issues. Some examples could be mom and dad, if you don't install a fence around your yard, um, I don't, may not be able to come to your house. And that's what um, some clients may have said you know, to their parents, if they have kids and animals that they want to take on vacation to visit grandma. And then infidelity is a deal breaker and not continuing a relationship if you cheat on me. Some people um, have open marriages, but some people will set boundaries that infidelity is a, is a game changer and they will end the relationship. What boundaries are important to you? After reading about the seven boundaries, I hope you gain greater clarity about the boundaries you need to set. I encourage you to write them down so you can hold yourself accountable for creating boundaries to protect yourself or maintain or establish your individuality and ensure that you use your time, energy, and resource for what matters to you most. What are toxic people, you wonder? Toxic people are negative energy that leave us feeling worse whenever we are around them. And they lie on a regular basis, take advantage of our kindness, and respect our boundaries, manipulate you in order to get what they want, put you down, don't encourage you or, you or to pursue your goals. Um, they don't consider your feelings. And they feel entitled and they frequently use angry or aggressive words. Most people will respect our boundaries if we communicate them clearly. And making boundaries with toxic people can be difficult. We know that people will do everything to resist our efforts to set boundaries. They will argue, blame, ignore, manipulate, threaten, or physically hurt us. And while we can't prevent people from acting like this, we can learn to set clear boundaries and take care of ourselves. And if your boundaries aren't respected, evaluate your options and take action. Believe in yourself. You can do this. You can believe in yourself. Believe it, achieve it, just like the law of attraction. Focus on healthy boundaries. Think long term. You are developing new healthy boundaries. You have choices. One of the greatest things about being an adult is you have choices. You don't have to continue to be friends with someone who takes advantage of you, of your kindness, or work for someone who criticizes you and belitt belittles you nonstop, or stay in a romantic relationship with someone who gaslights you. Happy New Year 2023! So what are you going to set for your boundaries in 2023 to have a mentally healthy, balanced life? If you need further assistance or counseling, please contact us.